Hey YouTube, Sandy Frank here. Today doing part five of this uh, really fun PSA Pokemon um, submission blind reveal. Um, this is a, a 167 card submission and I did not get any upcharges. I've gotten some pretty awesome cards in this order and very few disappointments, but there has been a couple cards I really wish I would have got tens, but I didn't get really no no reason to complain we've gotten tons of tens in this order so let's go to this next stack here okay so this this looks like a vintage card now we might might be getting into some of the vintage part of this order the edges look pretty good a little bit of edge wear on the bottom corners ah lieutenant surges jolteon this is a non-hollow rare. I tried to grade some of my uh, non-hollows. Uh, at least during this time, it seemed like it was a good idea to do that. Now a lot of people have done that. Centering looks good. I think it could get a 10. Maybe 9. Ooh, that one got 8. So, oh yeah, there is a little bit of a a little bit of wear there. So, a little bit hopeful to get a 9 on that, I guess. But 8 solid. This one's centering is pretty pretty bad on the back. Very thick on the bottom. There's a little bit of white tips in the corners. A Dark Doug Trio, first edition, from Team Rocket. Um, I would say um, definitely thinner on top. So, this is probably like a, uh, maybe an 8. That, that one did get the 9. So that was pretty close to getting a 10 if the centering would have been good, I'm guessing. This card back looks very vibrant. Um, there is a white tip there. Blaine's Charmeleon. Centering looks pretty good. Um, I think there's an outside shot at a 10. I think it's a, maybe a strong nine. Oh, an eight. Yeah, I'm not not in tune on my vintage guesses here. I'm probably missing where scuffs or something on the back of the card. So we got eight on that one. This one definitely um, some uh, little white tips on the corners. Big one there. Dark Weezing first edition. This is not the hollow. This is the uh, just the regular rare. Team Rocket. So it is um, a little bit thicker on the bottom. I mean, I, I guess maybe eight or nine. A nine. So we're getting nines on our first edition Team Rocket cards. Okay, this card definitely some uh, corner wear. A Vaporeon from Jungle. Um, I think this is probably an eight. There was a lot of a uh, look like it'd been shuffled before in a deck. Some probably played with this card. Yeah, PSA eight on the Vaporeon. Really cool artwork. Like I think the non hollows really get overlooked a little bit um, because everybody loves the hollows, of course. But you can really appreciate the artwork on some of the non hollows. And they're just as old, you know, maybe not as popular, but they are pretty old cards back from 99. Definitely some, a uh, little bit of edge wear, little spots on the edges there. And off-centered. So there's the Venomoth from Jungle. Front centering looks pretty good, but I'm guessing it's probably like an 8. Yeah, PSA 8. A little too much edge wear on the back to be uh, like a PSA 9 or 10. Definitely some edge wear on those corners. One, two, three, four, five, like six or seven really um, obvious little white spots on the corners. So Magneton, that's fossil, non hollow. Um, I'm guessing that that's probably an eight at the best. Yep, PSA 8. 
and a fossil magneton. This one, a little bit of edge wear there and there. You know, like this last one in the corners, and it's a little bit off centered. Lapras from Fossil. Front centering looks good, but I think it's probably an 8. Maybe a stronger 8. Ooh, that one got a 9. That's a nice grade. So you can see the artwork really well in these um, non hollows. Okay, this one definitely has been shuffled because you can tell there's quite a bit of white edge on all the corners. And there's a little bit of wear there and there. But these cards were meant to be played back in the day. There's Vile Plume, first edition, Jungle. I'm going to guess this is probably a 7. Yep, PSA 7 on the Vile Plume. Probably wouldn't grade that today. Um, there are definitely some whitening there and there and on that little edge and a little bit of a couple white spots down there the Doug Trio, this is from Base Set overall not bad good coloring on that card I think it's maybe a stronger 8 yeah PSA 8 on that one Alright, this one, a um, little bit of edge wear on the corners, like it's been played. Mr. Mime, first edition from Jungle. I'm going to guess maybe a strong 8. Yep, PSA 8 on that one. This card, there's definitely some whitening on that. There is a white spot there. There's one there, a pretty big one. So this this is not nine quality. War Turtle from Base Set. How many of these have been graded? Actually, I don't. I think the uh, the the uh, mid evolution of these probably does not get graded nearly as much as the uh, the starter or the uh, obviously the hollow. So I'm gonna guess that's an eight. Ooh, that one got the nine. I think that's kind of a weaker nine, but it did get it. PSA nine war Tour. The back of that card looks pretty good. One tiny little white spot there and a little bit there. That Ivysaur. Again, this is the second evolution stage. That one, if the War Turtle got a 9, this is a 9. Yeah, PSA 9. This one, I think, is nicer than the War Turtle. <clears throat> and this one, wow. Way off center. Very thick on top. I wonder why I would grade this. <laughs> very thin on bottom. Maybe I was trying for an OC. Got a little bit of edge wear also. Ah, Pikachu. Base set Pikachu. Man, that is definitely clearly off center. So I think it's probably eight with that bad of centering. Yeah, PSA eight. I think I have this as a nine, so I might throw that one up on eBay. Ooh, this one definitely a rough corner down there. Lots of whitening and a little bit of a dent. And it's definitely whitening there. Lots of whitening up there. Squirtle. From base set this must have been my nicest squirtle <laughs> um, definitely thick on top this is probably like a seven maybe a six hey, it did get a seven so they're grading these very fair because these are not mint pack fresh cards definitely looks like it's been shuffled in a deck because you got some pretty strong whitening on those bottom corners a little bit of white tips up there. Charmeleon from base set. Great looking art. Um, I think it's a strong eight. Oh, I got the nine. That's sweet. Another second stage evolution there. And here's this one. One teensy little white spot there. But the corners look really good. Charmander. Now, this is a nice Charmander. 
this is the nicest condition of all these vintage ones so far. So this is a, I think the worst it's going to get is a 9. It could squeeze out a 10. Oh, it got to 9. That's very nice though. I will take that. And this is, the way, one of the reasons I graded these, or these are the rookie cards of Charmander and Charmeleon. These were the first appearances in English. These are from the original base set. I think that that will become a thing someday. I think it is starting to become a thing, but um, that's why I wanted to grade. And plus, the prices you couldn't beat it. You might as well grade some nice vintage stuff. Quite a bit of wear on the corners. Ah, Jungle Pikachu. This one, um, I'm gonna say this is probably an, a seven. It's got quite a bit of edge wear. Ooh, it did get the eight. So that is the set. Okay, so like this. This is the rookie card of Pikachu. I mean, it's not first edition, but it's from the base set. And then this is the second um, release of Pikachu. So that, that's what I mean by rookie card. A Pokemon rookie card. <clears throat> this card looks pretty good. Um, very little white and a couple teensy little white dots there. Bulbasaur. That's a nice Bulbasaur. Now this one, this one might squeeze out a 10. Can we get a 10 on a vintage Bulbasaur? Oh, it got the 9. That's a, that's a strong 9 right there. That was a really nice shape. So, very happy with that one. Alright, so let's go to another box. We're doing good on time here. Getting a look at some vintage Pokemon cards. Alright, the next stack. See, now the nines are catching up and the eights are catching up because we're getting into the more of the vintage stuff. Okay, this card. Little white dot there. I don't think this is a vintage card here. This is, but it's not like a super new card. Oh, <sighs> Evolution's Charizard. Now I remember looking at this. Oh, there is a printing line. Darn it. There's one of these I sent in on an order that I did not see a printing line, but I do see a printing line there. Right there above his head. Now it's not much, and you can see it barely right there. So, the best possible grade this could get is a 9. Plus it's a little bit thick on that side. But a PSA 9 in this car is actually a fine grade. Because it's just so tough to get PSA 10. Yes, PSA 9. I'll take that. And that is a beautiful Evolution Charizard. I mean that card used to be worth quite a bit as a 9. I think it's dropped down quite a bit. It's still cool. There is a white spot there and there. Charmander reverse from Evolutions. I think I have this in a 10, so this would just be a pure bonus. Um, it looks solid. It could get a 9 unless there's a scratch somewhere. Did I say a 9? <laughs> I think I meant a 10, but it did get a 9. It is a little bit slightly off centered. Evo card so tough to grade. This card, a little bit of a white spot in that corner up there, but the back looks really good. Ooh, Charmeleon. See, now this looks, the centering looks better than the uh, Charmander. So, can we get a 10 on the Charmeleon? That would at least give me a PSA. 10 and a uh, Charmander and Ch Charmeleon. I did it in a previous order. I got a PSA 10 Charmander. Yeah, there we go. PSA 10 on an Evo Reverse Hollow. I'll take that. This one, don't really see any whitening. Maybe a tiny little white spot on that edge. Pikachu. Ooh. That looks really good. Looks as good as the Charmeleon. Maybe a little bit off center, a little bit thicker on the bottom. 
but I've definitely been really wanting to get this as a PSA 10. You guys know I'm a big fan of Pikachu. Can we do it? Yeah, PSA 10 reverse Pikachu, and that goes with our cracked ice Pikachu. Woo! That's nice. That one looks, I don't see any issues on the back there. Ooh, Mewtwo Reverse Holo. Man, can we get, okay. This is, you got to have watched one of the earlier videos where we got Mewtwo and Pikachu sequential cracked ice PSA 10s. Can we get sequential Pikachu and Mewtwo Reverse Holo PSA 10s? Man, that looks like a PSA 10. Come on. Oh, got the 9. So close. That's a strong 9. This one looks perfect on the back. Ah, oh, Flying Pikachu. I love these uh, secret rares from Evolution. See, that looks like a PSA 10. You don't have hollow to worry about getting printing lines. Yeah, PSA 10. Um, I, I've had good success grading those. Did we include a surfing Pikachu? Now there is a white spot there. It looks a little bit off center on the back. There's a white spot there. Ah, surfing Pikachu. Can we get a uh, matching set of tins? Centering on the front looks good. This one is not as nice as the uh, flying Pikachu on the back. Yeah, PSA 9. That's fair. This card looks perfect on the back. Very clean. Ooh, Pikachu V from Vivid Voltage. Come on. Please let me get a PSA 10. These are going to be tough to grade with this black border. <sighs> Come on. Can we get a PSA 10? There is a teensy little white spot there, but... I think it's just reflection. Yes, PSA 10 on the Pikachu V. Woo, so we got the V Max, the V, and the. Oh, we still have uh, another one out of this set that we have not seen yet. And the uh, Rainbow Rare. All PSA 10s. That one looks really good from the back as well. Maybe. If you're being super picky, a little bit thicker on that left side. Gardevoir V from Champion's Path. I mean, that looks like a 10. Yeah, PSA 10. So I always think these are going to be super tough to grade because of this dark border. But they, they seem to get a pretty decent gem rate. That one looks perfect from the back. Crobat V. Oh, man. I've been... Trying and trying. This is the third try I'd try to get a PSA 10 of this card. Um, I just think it's cool. And I just remember hearing this is a very playable card. So I wanted to get one in a PSA 10 because it's a popular card. Yeah, there we go. That's a um, collection goal. I was really wanting to get a 10 on that card. Darkest of Blaze. Good set for grading. So we're on a little bit of a roll here. Um, this one looks pretty good on the back. Dragapult V. This is from Rebel Clash. Rebel Clash, another set that grades very well. I mean, all these other ones are getting tens. This is, looks like a ten. Yeah, PSA ten on the Dragapult V. That's a cool looking card. These actually look pretty good slabbed. Now this one has the tilt, a um, little skew right there, definitely thicker, you know, it's just skewed. The Age of Slash, full art, man, that skew just kills it, yeah, it's definitely thinner and thicker there, so this is probably a 9, yeah, PSA 9 on the Age of Slash, but those are awesome slab, those full art V cards, I can't wait to get some of my full art V alternate art cards grade oh i just can't wait to get those grade i might have to send a couple of those in at the 50 dollars. i just but i'll just be patient patience is the key centering is great 
Oh, okay. We're waiting on that one. The full art Pikachu. That that would make all of my. If I could get that as a PSA 10, I'd have the all the Pikachu's from Vivid Voltage and PSA 10 on the first try. How huge would that be? Man, this one. Lots of wear on these corners. The Alakazam V. Yeah, that can't be a 10. Um, 9 at the very be very best. It even looks a little bit off-center. Yeah, that's actually a generous 9, I think, on the Alakazam. Cool art. Mm, back of that card. That looks great. Oh, I have to wait on that one. <laughs> there are so many key cards in this order. It's driving me insane. Uh, okay. This one. The slightest ever of a skew. Ooh, Champion's Path. Uh, Elite Trainer Box. Now, I've never gotten in this in a 10. And this pop report. This is going to crack you up. Watch this pop report. No matter what it gets. There have been so many of this card grade, it is mind-boggling. It's going to, this will end up being the most graded Pokemon card of all time, I have a feeling. Just so many people are ripping those Elite Trainer boxes looking for the Rainbow Charizard and that, that Charizard right there. The Secret Rares. So, that looks like a 10. Back's perfect. This, this is a 10. Yes, PSA 10. I just wanted one in a PSA 10 just to bring back the memories of ripping all these Champions Path. Champions Path is such a terrible set too, but you wanted those Charizards. And so um, it's not a fun set to open because you feel like you're defeated every time you don't pull a really rare card. <laughs> but the Elite Trainer Boxes did have these as a little, little prize, um, the promo. So we got a 10. I need to move on here. I'm talking too much. I might have sent in two of those. I usually don't like to send in multiples of a card, but yeah, this looks perfect from, from the back as well. Ah, another one. See, this is why this card is such high pop, because I mean people just have them. Another PSA 10, nice. So I will actually sell one of those and help pay for this order. Ooh. But it's probably not worth much because so many have been graded. Now this one, I can see a little bit of a lip around the edge. And there's definitely a white spot there. And on that corner. Or Beetle V. Oh man, I love this card. But it, I don't think it has a chance at a 10. It does even have a little bit of off-centered. A little bit thicker on this side. So I'm going to say 9. Yeah, that's deserving of PSA 9. Such a cool card. And the last card before we get to these two. That one looks perfect on the back. Dreadnought, Champion's Path, Full Art. That looks like an easy 10. Yeah, PSA 10. That one, no issues at all. Strong 10. Okay, we're going to start with this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Man, last time I tried to save two cards for the end of the video, it bit me. So I end up getting nines on them. So let's see. Back of that card looks great. Pikachu V Full Art from Vivid Voltage. This card is really tough to pull. I mean, not like the Rainbow Secret Rare, but it, it was tough. Man, that looks like a 10. Come on, get the 10. Get all four 10s. Yes. PSA 10 on the Pikachu Full Art V. Woo. Okay. Super pumped about that one. Now this one. Man, when this card first came out, I way overpaid. I learned a hard lesson to never overpay for cards and definitely never buy raw cards when sets first come out. Because the prices are just dumb. And this card has since... I mean, it is very tough to pull, but people, as you saw with those pop reports on those uh, Elite Trainer Box promos, people 
just open this stuff to oblivion and this is actually a high pop card um, even though it's so tough to pull now I see a little bit thicker on that side Charizard V secret rare from champions path this one this one is very nicely centering um, in a previous order the one I bought off eBay it was slightly off center I ended up getting a nine and I thought um, well, at the time that I bought it I didn't think I was ever gonna be a pull one and I did pull this out of a pack and it looks much better so always you know stick with your gut pull cards from packs you end up liking them better can we get the 10 that'll give me the both the secret rare Charizard V Max and this secret rare Charizard V in PSA 10 come on yes PSA 10 oh that looks good too Whew. okay that's one of the big cards in this order I mean it's not worth nearly what it once was but that's that gives me a lot of joy to my heart right there all right stay tuned for more videos um i'm gonna try to put the last two boxes in one there's two boxes left i'm gonna try to do them both in the last video later